Some of these warplanes are over 80 years old, yet still fight on today. From a 1942 transport still hauling troops to a bomber expected to serve past 2050, these 12 survivors will shock you. At number 12, we begin with the Northrop T-38 Talon, a jet trainer that first flew in 1961 from the United States. It became the world's first supersonic trainer and is still unmatched for teaching high-speed flight. The aircraft is 46 feet 4.5 inches long and can reach a top speed of 858 miles per hour. With a maximum range of 1,140 miles, it gives trainee pilots the ability to practice real combat distances. While it carries no weapons, its purpose is to train, not fight. More than 70,000 pilots have learned to fly on this jet, including astronauts trained by NASA. The unit cost was just $756,000, making it one of the most affordable jets of its time. Even today, it remains in service with modern avionics upgrades, preparing pilots for America's most advanced fighters. Sliding into number 11 is the Soviet-built Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21, introduced in 1959. Known worldwide as the Fishbed, it became the most mass-produced supersonic jet in history, with over 11,000 built. Measuring 48 feet 3 inches in length, it can fly at blistering speeds of 1,351 miles per hour. Its range is limited to 493 miles, but it can carry 3,307 pounds of weapons, including missiles and bombs. At a unit cost of $2.9 million, it was affordable for dozens of air forces. The MiG-21 is fought in Vietnam, the Middle East and Africa, proving both rugged and deadly. Still operated by nations like India, it has received upgrades with new radars and guided missiles. A true Cold War icon, it remains one of the most recognized fighters still in service today. At number 10 we meet a legend from the United States, the Lockheed C-130 Hercules, first introduced in 1956. Known simply as the Herc, this tactical airlifter has served in almost every major conflict since Vietnam. It measures 97 feet 9 inches long and reaches a top speed of 370 miles per hour. With a maximum range of 2,360 miles, it can deliver 42,000 pounds of cargo, troops, or vehicles to remote battlefields. Costing about $30.1 million per unit, it is still considered a bargain for its unmatched versatility. The C-130 has been modified into gunships, refuelers, weather recon planes, and even electronic warfare platforms. Used by more than 70 countries, it has proven itself in both combat and humanitarian missions. After nearly 70 years, new C-130s are still being built, showing the design's unbeatable value. At number 9 stands the American-made Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker, which entered service in 1957. This aerial refueling aircraft is the backbone of U.S. global air power, keeping fighters and bombers in the sky longer than ever before. It measures 136 feet 3 inches in length and can fly at 580 miles per hour. With a staggering maximum range of 11,015 miles, it can cross the globe on missions. The KC-135 can carry 83,000 pounds of fuel or cargo and cost about $39.6 million per plane. Its design came from Boeing's 367-80, which also led to the famous 707 passenger jet. Without this tanker, American bombers and fighters would be forced to return home much sooner. Constantly modernized with new avionics and engines, the KC-135 still ensures America's Air Force can strike anywhere in the world. At number 8 we have the American-made Lockheed U-2 Dragon Lady, first introduced in 1957. This high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft is 63 feet long and can fly at a top speed of 475 miles per hour. With a maximum range of 7,010 miles, it can stay aloft for hours while collecting intelligence. The U-2 can carry up to 5,000 pounds of sensors and equipment, and each unit cost about $22.5 million. Famous during the Cold War, it gained worldwide attention during the 1960 U-2 incident when one was shot down over the Soviet Union. Flying at altitudes above 70,000 feet, it is so difficult to fly that it earned the nickname Dragon Lady. Despite satellites and drones, the U-2 remains in service because it can be deployed quickly and upgraded with new sensors. More than 65 years later, it is still a backbone of American intelligence gathering. Coming in at number 7 is the Soviet-built Tupolev Tu-95 Bear, which first took to the skies in 1956. This massive strategic bomber measures 151 feet 7 inches in length and has a top speed of 575 miles per hour, 
making it one of the fastest propeller-driven aircraft ever built. It can travel 9,300 miles without refueling and carry up to 33,000 pounds of nuclear or conventional weapons. Each unit cost about $60 million, a huge investment during its time. The 295 is powered by four turboprop engines with eight counter-rotating propellers, creating a distinctive roar that can even be detected by submarines underwater. It continues to patrol near NATO airspace, reminding the world of its Cold War legacy. Constant upgrades in avionics and weapons keep it battle-ready in Russia's strategic forces. Nearly seven decades later, the bear still spreads its massive wings. At number six, we have the legendary Boeing B-52 Stratofortress from the United States, introduced in 1955. This heavy bomber stretches 159 feet 4 inches long and can reach speeds of 650 miles per hour. It has a maximum range of 8,800 miles and can carry an incredible 70,000 pounds of bombs, missiles, or nuclear weapons. With a unit cost of $84 million, it became the backbone of America's nuclear and conventional strike force. Nicknamed the Buff, or Big Ugly Fat Fellow, it has seen combat in Vietnam, the Gulf War, Iraq, and Afghanistan. The B-52 is so durable and adaptable that it is expected to remain in service past 2050, nearly 100 years after it was built. Constant upgrades in radar, avionics, and engines ensure it stays relevant. More than any other bomber, the B-52 symbolizes American long-range power and endurance. At number 5 is the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-19 Farmer, a Soviet fighter jet that entered service in 1955. This aircraft measures 41 feet 2 inches in length and was the first supersonic fighter developed by the Soviet Union. It can fly at speeds of 902 miles per hour with a maximum range of 860 miles. The MiG-19 can carry 1,100 pounds of weapons and was valued at about $1.5 million per unit. Its twin-engine design gave it greater reliability compared to earlier jets. The MiG-19 saw action in Asia and the Middle East, facing American and Allied jets during the Cold War. Though simple compared to modern fighters, it was rugged and easy to maintain, which made it ideal for less advanced air forces. Today, it still flies in countries like North Korea, proving its lasting value as a supersonic pioneer. At number 4 we find the Soviet-made Ilyushin 228 Beagle, first built in 1950 as one of the earliest jet bombers. This medium bomber measures 57 feet 11 inches in length and can reach speeds of 560 miles per hour. With a maximum range of 1,350 miles, it can deliver up to 6,600 pounds of bombs, including nuclear weapons during its prime years. Built at a unit cost of just $500,000, it was affordable for many Soviet allies during the Cold War. Known for its simple design and rugged reliability, it was exported widely and served in dozens of air forces. Even today, the 228 remains active in North Korea, where it continues limited operations. It was valued not just for its strike role, but also for reconnaissance and training. More than seven decades after it first flew, this Cold War veteran still endures. At number three comes the de Havilland Canada DHC-2 Beaver, a small but legendary aircraft introduced in 1948. This utility plane is 30 feet 3 inches long and can fly at speeds of 158 miles per hour. With a range of 455 miles, it can carry up to 2,100 pounds of supplies, making it perfect for short, rugged missions. Each unit originally cost just $32,000, a fraction of modern aircraft costs. Known as the greatest bush plane ever built, it was loved for its short takeoff and landing ability, which let it operate from remote strips, lakes, and even icy terrain. Militaries used it for patrol, cargo runs, and liaison duties, especially in areas where no other plane could fly. It earned its reputation in Alaska, Canada, and the Arctic, where survival depended on its toughness. Even after 75 years, the Beaver continues to serve as an irreplaceable lifeline in hard-to-reach regions. At number two, we have the Antonov and 2 Colt, a massive single-engine biplane introduced by the Soviet Union in 1948. The aircraft is 40 feet 8 inches long and can fly at a maximum speed of 160 miles per hour. It has a range of 525 miles and can carry 4,718 pounds of cargo or passengers. At a unit cost of about $100,000, it became extremely popular for both civilian and military use. Known for its nearly indestructible design, the AN-2 can fly as slow as 30 miles per hour without stalling, making it excellent for rough fields and parachute training. 
It is served in agriculture, transport, and even psychological warfare by dropping leaflets. Produced for decades, it holds the record for the longest production run of any aircraft and still flies in Russia, China, and many other countries today. Finally, at number one is the legendary Douglas C-47 Skytrain, first introduced by the United States in 1942. This military transport aircraft is 63 feet 9 inches long and has a top speed of 224 miles per hour. With a maximum range of 3,600 miles, it can carry up to 6,000 pounds of cargo, troops, or medical supplies. Each aircraft costs just $88,574 to build, making it one of the most affordable workhorses of World War II. Based on the DC-3 airliner, the C-47 became vital for airborne operations, including the D-Day landings where thousands of paratroopers jumped from its doors. Nicknamed the Goonie Bird, it was famous for rugged reliability and the ability to fly in almost any condition. More than 80 years later, it still serves in some air forces, a true icon of endurance and history. These aircraft prove that even designs from the 1940s can still dominate modern skies with upgrades and endurance that defy time. Subscribe now, hit like, share this video, and comment below. Tell us which of these legendary warbirds surprised you the most. Your support keeps these stories flying.